this is Crystal Taylor, the owner of Fitness Is Not A Game, and I welcome you to today's In The Kitchen With Crystal segment as we make no egg, high protein breakfast. Yes, too many, too often people say, you know, Chris, I don't eat eggs, I don't eat eggs, what else should I do, what else can I do? So today I got you and I'm gonna make not one, not two, but three different breakfasts uh, that are quick, that are easy, and they don't have eggs in them. So as you're coming in, let me know if you can hear me. Also, if you're watching on replay, type replay in the comments, let me know that you came back and watched. And of course, go drink our water. Mm. So what are we making? We're going to make some of my favorites. Well, you know, it look, man, I don't know if it looks like a lot to you, but it's not a lot that you need. All we need, um, surprisingly, we're going to use a lot of oats. You're like, Chris, would you say a high protein? Hold on, hold on. We also have our almond milk half protein powder. And I actually have two different protein powders. Um, and I'll tell you why in just a second. Have my powdered peanut butter, chia seeds. All of these things have a lot of protein in them. Uh, walnuts, protein, cinnamon, banana, um, my boo, the avocado. We have some bacon, we have some uh, low calorie, high fiber bread, and we have, oh, crushed powder. So, what are we making? We're gonna make some avocado toast. You know how much I love avocado? We're gonna put some turkey bacon on that. We're gonna make some overnight oats, and we are going to make um, protein pancakes. I fell on that recipe uh, when I trained for my competition in 2014, and I still eat them. They are good. So let's get started. What we're going to do first, because a lot of people let me know um, if you like turkey bacon. Because <laughs> people, some people are like, I don't like it. It tastes like cardboard. Blah, 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 blah. But what we're going to do is we're going to make it in the toaster oven. We're actually going to bake it so that it has a little more flavor. Well, a little, a little more juice, I should say. All right. Get some of this out of the way. Y'all know I do everything while I'm on with you so you can see how quick and how much time it actually takes. I don't want to do any prep, any prep before I come on with you because I want you to see how long it actually takes with me talking to. <laughs> with me running my whole mouth. My car on foil. Mm. So just going to line this pan up with foil real quick. Just put this in the toaster oven. Just gonna do two slices of turkey bacon. I love me some avocado. I love me some avocado toast. Um, but it's a great source of protein, healthy fats, all that good stuff. Y'all know y'all in my kitchen for real. <laughs> I'm gonna buy new stuff for this segment. I'm cooking my food that we got in my house. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Y'all see how I store my stuff. <laughs> ah, get that out the way for you. Just gonna put these in the toaster oven so they can start cooking early. Put that on. I like about 50. It's about 15 minutes. Wash my hands real quick. I should wash my hands when I touch the dog on the toaster oven. But that's all right, though. That's all right. All right. So what's up next? What I also want to do for the protein pancakes. So let me tell you, the first time I did the protein pancakes, I read the instructions, the ingredients, and they talk about just put, you know, third cup of oatmeal, you know, oats. And this. So I'm just thinking, you know, because it has egg in it too, we're using egg whites. So I'm like, oh, okay, that's all you have to do. No, that, that was not good. That was not good. So what I like to do is I cook my oats first. So let me get these oats on real quick. And honestly, I'm gonna tell you, this handle is no joke. I usually make my oatmeal in the doggone uh, microwave and I'm trying not to jump off camera. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make it right here. It's so funny because I usually don't even uh, <laughs> measure anything, but I'm like, okay, okay, how about you do it? All right, so I am gonna make this oatmeal on the stove real quick. And then while the oatmeal is cooking, 
for us to make the pancakes, we are going to be making the overnight oats in the process of it. All right, let me get this water going. So it's just one cup of water, and then I think I'm gonna use uh, half a cup of uh, oats once it gets boiling, so we'll leave it up there. But we're gonna get cracking with these overnight oats. All right, overnight oats. Y'all see, I got three things going, same time. Overnight oats are my bag. I love overnight oats because you don't cook them at all. If you if you just put oats in water or milk or whatever you have it in, you will see that the oats will start to expand and cook themselves, right? So that's the premise of it. So with overnight oats, let me move this milk. Um, overnight oats, we're just going to have our base of our oatmeal, our uh, cooking agent will be the milk, but then we get to play around with it and put so many different flavors in it. Something else that you can do with your overnight oats that I don't have here just because I can't really eat it. I use protein powder because um, I would prefer, honestly, the better option if you all can eat it, if you do it, is Greek yogurt. I don't do Greek yogurt because I can't do a lot of dairy like that. But Greek yogurt is a great, it's actually the better uh, ingredient in this overnight oats because you get the flavor and you get the extra creaminess of it. Oh my gosh, it's so good. But my stomach don't. I only do a quarter cup of oats each day when I eat. Uh-oh, my water is boiling. My water is about to start boiling. So let me, let me go throw some of this in there. Hold on. All right, all right. But that's supposed to be a, a whole cup in there. I mean, half a cup. So let me put some more in here. Get this to, uh, get this to cooking. I'm going to bring this. This heat down a little bit. I don't want it to overboil. All right, get that cook. All right, back to what we we're doing with the overnight oats. And I apologize because it looks as if my comments are not coming through today. Mm, mm, mm. It likes to be something, but that's okay though. That's okay though. We're gonna get through this. All right. So I'm making two different ones. That's why I have uh, two bowls. Eh, eh. Gonna have me some extras. All right, so just put my dry oats in here. Look here, you know we don't mess with no oats without the cinnamon. That's all this is, just a little cinnamon, all right? We also, uh-oh, let me check on my oats meal. It's okay, I can remember last time I made oatmeal on the stove, y'all. Feeling nostalgic. But it's good because we're going to use that as the pot or the bowl to make our pancake batter. All right. Uh, where, where else was I? Oh, chia seeds. Come on now. I told y'all, when we are talking about adding calories, sometimes people trip off calories. Everything is calorie, calorie, calorie. Calories are not made the same you want to look at the nutritional value that you're also getting with it so two tablespoons is 150 calories right and people are like oh that's a lot of calories but when you look at how much fiber look at all that fiber Mommy, can you see that look at that fiber come on now you gotta you know pick uh i don't even want to say pick your poison but i don't even use two tablespoons i barely use i try to use i use probably about a tablespoon I mean a teaspoon each time. So that's enough for me. Let's show you, I'm get it excited. Then what else we put in our oats? We put peanut butter. I know a lot of folks are like, I want a peanut butter. You know some people say they hate it, they can't stand it, but I love it in my uh, oatmeal because it adds and this is a two tablespoon scoop. It adds extra uh, protein without all of the fat. Bam, bam, bam. All right, so now here's the fun stuff. Ooh, mm, mm. Oh, my oatmeal's done. Done that off. Had an idea. 
had an idea. That's the great thing about cooking. Play with it, have some fun. Yay, my oatmeal is ready. Yay. Cool. Let that stay there. All right. So, we about to play around with this. What we going to do, we going to make two different types of oat, uh, overnight oats. So, this protein powder is a chocolate one. That's why I brought two out here because I uh, have vanilla and we have chocolate. Um, but I'm holding the vanilla for the pancakes, to be honest. So, that's going to stay there. But, with this here chocolate. Oh, scoop it in. We're going to make. Oh. Ah. Come on. I'm having too much fun. We're going to put us a scoop of this chocolate protein powder in here. Chocolate oatmeal, y'all. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Now, this is what we're going to play with. We are going to. <laughs> having a hard time screwing this back on. Line it up. Line it up. Yes. <laughs> Alright, so this is what we're going to do. I told y'all I had a banana. Oh, get my spoon. Y'all can't hear, but I got my, my boy Bruno saying it to me. Yes. Um, oh, let me stir this up a little bit. It smells so good, y'all. It smells so good. All that chocolate, chocolate, peanut butter, oatmeal, and then we're going to put some banana, and then we're going to use two different types of nuts. We have almonds, and we got, what is it, walnuts. They are going to be so good. going to get my banana. Tell y'all, so easy. And they got a little bit of a little brown spot. Don't trip off of that. How many of y'all trip off brown spots? Come on now. So actually, let me go ahead and put this in half. I'm going to do half for each. Because it's already a lot of flavor going on in this hit bowl. So I like to cut my banana up. Because I like banana in each doggone bite. I want all the flavors in air bite. Yes. Mm. Boy, Bruno just said, I love that dress, but you won't need it no more. No, you won't need it no more. Hey. My son. Hey. Cut this up. Ooh, y'all hear that? Y'all hear that bacon? Juicy bacon. Don't y'all talk about uh, turkey bacon being uh, dry when you're not making it right. All right. So that's cut up. Wrench my hands off. Now, let's say we have two different nuts. So we have our chocolate, peanut butter, banana, oatmeal. Come on now. And then we're going to act the food and throw some walnuts and some almonds. So we're going to do walnuts in one. Let me measure this out. That's the thing, y'all. If y'all trying to be on track, you got to measure your stuff. So I'm just going to do an eighth of a cup of walnuts ooh, ooh, in one. I'm so excited. Oh, and this is the thing about overnight oats. Um, you don't want to eat them the next day. Don't try to make them the night before. Like, oh, I'm making this for my tomorrow. Unless you're going to cook them. If you're just going to let them stay, because you really just put them in the refrigerator. If you're just going to put them in the refrigerator, then you want to do it like two or three days before you plan on eating it. All right. Sliver almonds. Bam. Now, all we got to do is add some milk. So we got chocolate, peanut butter, banana, walnut, oatmeal. And I don't measure. I pour until my ancestors tell me to stop. And you do want it a little juicy, a little runny. Because the oats are going to soak up. Ooh, the milk. Y'all. Looks and smells so good. Yummy, yummy, yummy. And then I'm literally just going to put this in the refrigerator for the next couple of days. So this is going to be great for my Monday. Yes, it will. When's the last time you had chocolate? 
Forget you. Somebody will be laughing at me. Because, yes, I get excited about food. And I'm imagining what it's going to taste like. And I'm looking at all these flavors and all these hey, nutrients. You meant to say we. How we going to taste. Uh, can you please get out my uh, shot? Thank you. Nobody's listening to me. See? And, it, you know, it's interesting how I hate that I can't communicate with you all. But in a sense, I don't feel no pressure because I be getting bullied to feed, take support. Nah, not today. Guess what? I'm by myself. Oh, yeah. So that's good and runny. That's good. That's good. Y'all see that? See? That's about the consistency you want. I'm trying not to drop, uh, drop it. There you go. See? That's nice and runny. And then you'll be able to check in the... Uh, uh, refrigerator each day to see when you want it to want to eat it. Oh, mm. Mm, mm. I didn't bring my top for it. Just go look at it. Yeah. And so you're just pouring. And it's crazy because I really can't wait to eat these. These are done. They are done. So you have two breakfasts ready and on deck for the week. See, I, that's why I, I like to meal prep on the weekends. This is when you typically have the most time. But now I have breakfast ready for Monday and Tuesday. Or as tech support say, we got breakfast ready <laughs> for Monday. Tell me which one y'all want. Because I'm going to come back and look at the comments. Would you use pecans? Would you use uh, walnuts? Would you use almonds? I think all of them would be good except regular peanuts. Eh. All right. So those are done. I'm trying to get everything off this spoon. I want all my protein powder and everything. All right. So Monday and Tuesday are both Monday for me and tech support. <laughs> done and out the way. Let me go ahead and slide that over. Put this foil back. I don't think I need that. Need to wash my hands yet again. Done. Done, 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 done. Bam. Pow. So next up. Oh, and I hate that I can't see the comments. Next up, we have our pancakes. That's a shame. I am truly excited about these here pancakes. Get this stuff out the way. So I'm going to bring over my uh, oatmeal. See, I just made a little bit of oatmeal. And we are going, this is going to be the base. Uh-oh, the bacon rib? Mm-hmm, Charlie, this is juicy. Mm, got uh, grease on it. <laughs> All right, so we're going to use this as our basis for our, our base for pancakes. So it's just oatmeal. I'm going to add some egg whites. I'm just going to use two eggs. Uh -uh. Then of course, since we're making pancakes, I'm going to have to add a little bit of cinnamon. Separating these eggs. Mmm, mmm. Alright, wash my hands. Tell y'all, you gotta practice food and health, uh, food safety. So that you are not getting sick mistakenly or touching all types of raw meats and eggs and stuff. Now wash your hands. Alright, so I told y'all, save my uh, vanilla. Now, this is, this is my travel case. I don't want to take my protein with me. Y'all see how big these dog old protein things are. I ain't taking that with me, uh, traveling nowhere. But I found a, a little peel thing. Uh, but I'm going to mix this on up. Add my, oh, this is crushed red pepper. We don't want to put that in there. We're going to put this here. Cinnamon up in here. And again, don't ask me how much. 
Oh, that's it. That's good. Mm, mm, mm. My goodness, cinnamon smells amazing. So I'm just stirring this all up. Oh, grenade. Come on now. All right. Now I'm going to add my protein powder. I guess this is a pouring thing that's going to be cool for me. Because <laughs> you really only need uh, a scoop of protein. And I think two things, two of these sides make a, a, a scoop for me. But you won't do the same. Yeah, oh, get to heating up my griddle. So we can make pancakes. And just like, it honestly, any you call anything a pancake. It's all it is. But just different way to make the oatmeal. Different way to eat it. And I tell you all the time too. Stop eating the same things the same ways because you get bored. You get bored. And then you start eating all types of stuff that you know does not align with your goals. And then you get frustrated. You're like, ah, I shouldn't have eaten that. I shouldn't have eaten that. Cause, ah, look at me. I don't like it. <laughs> well, this way you just got to switch up what you, uh, how you eat certain things. All right? All right, so look, just making a batter. That's all I did. I just just made a batter. Can you see that? All I did was make a batter out of oatmeal, egg whites, and protein powder. And again, if you want to, you can do all types of stuff to this. You can add um, like whatever you would put in your pancakes. If you want to put some, um, uh, I, I like chocolate chips on pancakes. I don't do a lot of syrup. But if you want to add chocolate chips, you want to add a different flavor, protein powder, all of that stuff. Do whatever. Do you, boo-boo. Do you. I think that's hot. I don't know if it's hot enough, but I think it's hot. Y'all have y'all favorite uh, utensils and stuff? Oh. Do I want to put a little... People who like to like drizzle their uh, pancakes with peanut butter anyway, like they melt pan, uh, peanut butter and drizzle their pancakes. So why not put powdered peanut butter in here? Yes. That's why I'm telling y'all, I love this powdered peanut butter. It's so versatile. So versatile. I do so many things. People love putting in smoothies and shakes and stuff. This feels hot now. Feels hot now. Yeah, but I'm just pouring. Oh, yeah. Come on now. Come on. This is perfect, actually. I'm going to make about four pancakes. Come on. Come on. That's all I need. Mm, mm. Let that bubble up. Get that out the way. Let that bubble up just like you would regular pancake. Mm-hmm. Bam. Let's get this bacon now. Now, look here. 24 minutes. Got almost everything done now because now we're just about to create and make our, uh, have these pancakes done. Put this toast together. Look at that. See? My bacon. Y'all see that grease on my bacon? Talking about today. Look at that. You just gotta cook it right. That's all. Just gotta cook it right. Alright. We just gonna make our uh, avocado toast. So let me tell y'all what bread we're using. So, got a whole wheat, whole grain bread. That is only 35 calories per slice. Um, it has a gang of fiber, 5 grams of fiber, and 5 grams 
of protein per two slices, right? So the average bread that you're going to get is about, so for two slices of this is the only 70 calories. Most breads have 70 calories per slice. So you're cutting that in half and make sure, oh, and the fat and all that good stuff too. But make sure that when you're buying your breads, you get whole grain. Don't get no multi-grain nothing. Multi-grain, no, no. That's, that, that's basically hot dogs of bread. That means they took all the remnants from the bottom of the bucket with the grains and they shook it and then they put it all together. And then you're like, oh, but it tastes so hearty. Yeah, it's hearty. But they strip all the nutrients from it. All right? So just wanted to give you all that little tip as I get ready to flip my pancakes. I get up under there right. That's why I got this one because it gets a thunder. Uh oh. I used to be a great pancake flipper. Now I'm just so so. I used to be able to like, tap it and flip all the way over by itself. Oh, this smells so good. Bam. Oh, child. Hey, we get my get my plate together. Get this plate together. All right, so I was saying with the bread, make sure you get whole grain, all right? You don't want multi-grain. You don't want multi-grain. Because even with the white bread that I have, <laughs> let me see if we can turn it up, everything, you got to get the whole grain, all right? Mm, mm, mm. Let me move this bread out the way. So throw this other bread in the toaster. So we are going, y'all should smell these pancakes. Tech support. I guess I need a taster from someone who is uh, not the trainer. It's supposed to be like, you be saying stuff good just because you like eating healthy stuff and blah, 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 blah. But some of the health stuff really is good. Uh, I think I hear my taster coming. Is that my taster? Oh, I was coming to do something else. Oh, I was coming. Pancakes are in. Okay, let's try. <laughs> I wanted to. What you doing? Oh, tech support working. Mmm, mmm, look at that. Mmm, it's fluffy. Uh oh. Actually, I think I want them to cook a little more. Like, I see the, they bouncing around. That's the egg in it. Make sure. There we go. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Come on. See? Bloop, bloop, bloop. Look at this thing. See these bouncy eggs? I mean, bouncy pancakes. They like fluffy. Mm hmm. Right. You gonna try them out? I don't really know. I know. We'll get you a fork then. Alright, so now I'm with the avocado toast. All we are doing, we are using bread, avocado, of course. Uh, bacon and peppers. That's it, that's all. That's it, that's all. Got me a nice, big, beautiful avocado. I'm gonna cut this in half. I'm, I put two slices of bread in there, but I don't even know if I'm gonna use two slices. Um, might just eat one. Nah, who am I joking? I'm gonna eat the both. Ah. Oh, please be good, avocado. Please be pretty. Please. <gasps> she is pretty. She got a little brown, but she all right. But she all right. Now what is this food? Protein pancakes. You're so dramatic. <laughs> you see that smoke? Is yeah, get a fourth in. So it, in the pancakes, it's just oatmeal, cinnamon. Egg whites, vanilla, protein powder, and then I put a little bit of powdered peanut butter in it too. Add a little flavor. Don't get no syrup. You don't need no syrup. You hear all them flavors? I wouldn't pay attention. <laughs> give, give my pancakes. Back. Give, give my pancakes. I'm laughing at me being organic. I mean, a uh, uh, pancake flipper. Yes. Sorry, I missed Ooh. all of them. You like? Oh, look at 
with Moy. Yeah. <laughs> you see, so surprised. You're like, ooh, it's Moy. I wasn't listening to what was in there. What's in there? I made, I cooked oatmeal. Then I put egg whites, cinnamon, vanilla protein powder, mm, and um, powdered peanut butter. Hmm, that's good. It is peanut butter. Tastes good? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Uh huh. Got a nice little, got a nice flavor to it. Mm hmm. Toast. Yeah, the, the, the consistency isn't weird. It's a little breaking up kind of funny, but yeah. like, when you taste it, it, it isn't weird. But you know what, though? It's probably, that would stop with more egg and just cook it longer. Mm -hmm. Like this, but. Is this mine? Hot. I guess so. Thank you. I'll save you one. Uh, I'm gonna eat this avocado toast. Oh. Oh, I'll save room. No. Mm-mm. So I just sliced up some avocado. How they gonna know what it tastes like if I don't taste it? Because I'm gonna tell them what it tastes like. <laughs> <laughs> That's how. This is a big avocado. Shoot. Half this avocado is gonna be used on both slices of bread. It's great I have my handy avocado saver y'all i brought this just to show y'all and show off because i love my little this is my avocado storage container <laughs> so cute i love it <laughs> i love it all right. Your eyes. <laughs> all right so all we're gonna do is stack so we got an avocado toast i mean we got our toast Avocado, get some crushed red pepper. Crushed red pepper is great. Well, all peppers are good for you, period. Um, helps with your metabolism, helps you digest foods better. Plus, it adds flavor. That's what I like about it. Is that I like people mess up because they eat bland foods. And then they say, oh, instead of uh, spicing it up, they'll just add a whole bunch of sauces and cheeses, stuff that violates uh, your plans and your goals. But spices help you and they save you. Uh, yeah, Miss Ollie says she has the avocado saver too. It's so dope. All right, and then we're just gonna put our bacon on it. Got my turk bacon, ten and a half. Look at that. Two pieces of bacon, two pieces of bread, and half an avocado with some pepper. Now, let's see. When we, ooh, look at that. Y'all talking about it's just like cardboard. It's grease on my finger. Um, let's talk about calories and stuff. So two slices of turkey bacon, I think is only like 70 calories. Yeah, toast, we know is 70 calories together. So that's 140 calories. Plus, you're getting the extra calories and fat from the good fat from the avocado. So that's probably another 100, 140 calories maybe. So your breakfast, this is less than 300 calories. A whole bunch of good fat, a whole bunch of good flavor whole bunch of protein mm, mm, mm. and no egg involved now for my egg folks if you want to you can throw an egg on here but you don't have to see that's pretty see uh let's see uh miss g i got the avocado saver from aldi yummy mm -hmm. do you want to taste this for you little bit my other taste tester it's too busy eating all the pancakes. I'll let them go. <laughs> yep. You want to taste the avocado sauce? Mm-hmm. I'm trying to find something to... That's a shame. He has to uh, cleanse his palate. Cause look, yep. No, don't try to hide. <laughs> look how, how full his mouth is eating those pancakes. <laughs> 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 he embarrassed y'all. He tried to run out. Who has he been over there? He's been over there at the bar, just tear those pancakes up. But that's a good thing. I would have smashed it. <laughs> that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Um, Miss Patsy said I add tomato, boiled egg, and red onion to my avocado sandwich. Yep. So it's just avocado sauce. I, I can take that other one. Mm, mm, no. No. You want me to take that one? Mm-hmm. Yes, you will. I 
I get it all the time. Well, I like it. <laughs> no, so I got glad. read about it because he he's uh, not gonna take the time to cut up the avocado. So I'm, I'm so glad it. we got an avocado saver. Anywho, container. y'all, quick and easy, three different meals. Uh, so somebody said uh, right, that they were gonna use what the uh, with the notes. I mean, with the I said with the notes with the oats, uh, walnuts and almonds. Yes, Miss Patsy, I love all nuts. Miss Julie said almond. Yes, I think that's what I'm going to, um, I think I'm going for the almond and let him have the uh, walnuts. But simple, we got two, look, they already starting to jiggle up, get solid. We got uh, two oatmeals, we got some pancakes going, and we got our avocado toast. Quick, excuse me, and easy, very high protein breakfast items that don't include eating the egg we use the egg white for the pancakes but you don't have to eat the egg if you don't like to eat egg you can still have a really really good start to your day so i hope you like it make sure that you uh tag it put it in the group when you make whatever you decide to make let us know what you think about it let us know how you liked it uh if how you modified it because that's the thing cooking is fun Switch things up. Don't get stuck in a rut doing the same and eating the same things over and over and over again because then you will get bored and you will act out and run out and go grab something else. So try these. Let us know what you think. Um, something to be mindful of. As I told you all, the In the Kitchen segments are only on the Facebook or in the Facebook group for one week. So this one will be up for the next week, but all the other ones are coming down today. For continued access and full access to all the In the Kitchens, you can join the video library. The link is in the description, but it's not just In the Kitchens. You also get access to all of my trainings that I do as far as the expert trainings, my courses, my free online trainings, all of that good stuff there in there. And you get access to all of my work. So all of that is in the video library uh, for you to gain access to so that you can stay on track. It is a one-stop shop for everything fitness, so don't miss out on it, all right? So with that being said, thank you all for hanging out with me. I can't wait to see what you make. I can't wait to finish my avocado toast. <laughs> and he did leave me one pancake, so I'm grateful for that. Eat that up and have a great day. I want you to have a great day as well. Please stop skipping breakfast because you don't think that you have time or you don't know what to eat or it's not, or it's only eating cereal or driving, go through the drive through You can have healthy, quick breakfast in your home. So, all right, y'all, let's see. Oh, appreciate you too. Uh, yes, it is, it is good, Mr. All of us is so good. So I can't wait for the oatmeal. When I have the oatmeal, I'll let you all know. So, all right. Y'all have a fantastic day. And I will see you all in the next In the Kitchen with Crystal segment. Peace. Be good. Be safe. All right.